Dear students, I welcome you all to this problem solution series in digital electronics. I am solving the problems from the book Digital Design by Maurice Mano and Michael Seleti, 4th edition book. So in this video, I am solving the problem number 4.34 from the chapter number 4. The problem is implement the following boolean functions with a multiplexer. Okay, that means we have to use multiplexer to realize this boolean expressions. So first expression is the sum of min terms expression and the second expression is the product of max term expression. Let us write both of these in sum of min terms expressions first to realize with multiplexer. Okay, so first term is already in sum of min terms expression that is sum of 0, 2, 5, 7, 11 and 14. And the second term is in product of max terms expression. f of a, comma b, comma c, d is product of this. Therefore, we can expand this term as so for 3 we will have a bar plus b bar plus c plus d. Okay, that means 0, 0, 1, 1. Okay, that is 3. So 8 means 1, 0, 0, 0. Okay, so a plus b bar plus c bar plus d bar. 1, 0, 0, 0. So similarly for the others. So if we represent this product of some expressions in sum of product expression, okay, that means if we convert this POS expression in SOP expression, okay, so we'll get a complement here. So f dash will be, so f complement will be a a b c bar d bar plus a bar b c d plus a bar b bar c d plus a bar b bar c bar d bar this sum of min terms expression will be sum of this one is zero okay then we have this one so it is zero zero one one so three okay this one is zero one 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 so seven okay and this one is one one zero zero so it is twelve so this is the sum of min terms expression for f complement therefore f will be whatever the terms that are not present here so f will be the terms that are not present here so one is not there okay one so two is also not there three is there then four is not there five six okay that means whatever the terms are present here that will be absent here okay from 0 to 15 because it is a four variable function now we will go to the next step so first of all we will solve the part a okay so in the part a we have this expression sum of min terms expression so what we will do we will first make the truth table for output f okay so inputs are inputs are a b c d and output is f for four variables we will have 16 combinations from 0 to 15 okay so let me write down quickly Okay, so these are the 16 input combinations for that we have to find out the output function so this expression is nothing but a sum of this min terms expression because it is a sum if any one of these terms is 1 the output will be 1 and 0 otherwise so let us see so 0 0 is there so we'll have for all of 0 means 0 0 0 means 0 so we'll have output is 1 next we have one one is absent here okay so it will be zero okay then we have it is two two is present here let me write down this first zero two then five seven so five is this one seven is this one okay then we have 11 and 14 so 11 is eight plus three so this one and 14 so these are one and all the others are zero so put zero values here. Zero, 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 zero. So here we have 15 outputs. If we suppose take two at a time, we'll see that the most significant three most significant digits are the same for two. Suppose for these two numbers, we have this A, B, C are the same. Okay, and D is only changing. Similarly for the second this one 0, 0, 001 0, 0, 001 okay and this d value is changing okay for all of these groups we have the a comma b comma c values are the same only d is changing okay so let me group this first okay now let us see it carefully so here we can see that f is opposite of d that is whenever d is 0 f is 1 for this group that means for, for these two first values we can see that f value is the inverted value of d 
because d1 over it is 0 it is 1 and d1 over it is 1 it is 0 okay so we can write it as f equal to d bar or d complement so here also we have f is the output function f is the inversion of the d value okay so f equal to d bar so in the third case we will have it is f is nothing but it is same with d whenever d is 0 f is also 0 whenever d is 1 f is also 1 so f is equal to d so here also we can see that it is same so okay f equal to d for this pair that is 8 and 9 we have output f equal to 0 for both cases so we can write it as f equal to 0 so here we can see that it is the same f equal to d and here we can write f equal to 0 because both are 0 okay and here we can see that it is the f is the complement of d f equal to d complement so we have got all these values now we will use a multiplexer okay 18 to 1 multiplexer so let us draw a 18 to 1 multiplexer because in the question it is given that we have to use one 18 to 1 demultiplexer suppose we have three select lines here that are d a b and c a b and c so s0 s1 s2 and this d value is getting the data okay so d value will connect to the all the eight input ports so here we'll have eight input ports okay so from 0 to 7 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 now we have to connect the input d such that we will get the output f here so this is the y output port so it is the 18 to 1 multiplexer f equal to d this one is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 okay here we can see that f equal to d for 2 3 5 okay 2 3 and 5 okay so connect the d line directly to 2 3 and 5th input port of the multiplexer so d will be connected to 2 it will be connected to 3 and 5 okay so d is connected to 2 3 and 5 then we can see that we have d complement d complement is for 0 0 1 then we have 7 0 1 and 7 let us use a inverter here okay so here we'll have d complement so it will be connected to 0 1 and 7 0 1 and 7 okay so d complement we have connected to 0 1 and 7 f equal to 0 4 4 and 6 okay so let us give 0 value to 4 and 6 so this is the circuit of the uh, given function okay given this function using a 18 to 1 multiplexer now let us go to our second part of the problem in the second part we have obtained this expression that is f equal to this much now let us rewrite this expression so part b we have f equal to sum of 1 2 4 5 6 8 9 10 11 13 14 and 15 again we have to make the table similar to the previous case so let me write down the inputs inputs are a b c and d and the output output is f so let me write down quickly all the 16 combinations for this four digit number or four bit number okay okay we have written all the 16 combinations using 4 bit okay now we'll combine to this uh, we will take as a pair for similar to the previous case okay now we'll take as a pair of two bits okay two digit two numbers now we'll take pair of two numbers similar to the previous case okay to realize with a multiplexer okay the process is the same just the function is different now let us see whatever the number we have present here that value will be 
वन हेयर ओके आउटपुट फांगशन उल भी वन हेयर बिकज दिस इज ए साम अफ मीन टर्म्स एक्सप्रेशन बिकज इफ एनी ओन अफ दिस टर्म्स प्रेजेंट हेयर इन दिस फांगशन इज वन द आउटपुट उल भी वन ओके बिकज इट इज ए साम एक्सप्रेशन लेटेस्ट इज जिरो इज एबसेंट सो उल हाव जिरो एफ इक्वल टू जिरो ओके जेन उल हाव वन इज प्रेजेंट टू इज अल्सो प्रेजेंट थ्री थ्री इज एबसेंट फोर इज प्रेजेंट ओके फाइव इज प्रेजेंट सिक्स इज प्रेजेंट सेवेन इज एबसेंट एट इज प्रेजेंट नाइन इज प्रेजेंट ओके सो टेन इज प्रेजेंट इलेवेन इज प्रेजेंट टुएल्व इज एबसेंट एंड थार्टीन इज देयर ओके थार्टीन इज वन एंड फोर्टीन इज वन एंड फिफ्टीन इज ऑल्सो वन Now let us see these values. We here also we can see that for each of these pairs, these pairs, okay. So we have A and B and C are the same equal, okay. So just D is changing. Now we can see that F is same with D. That is, we can write it as F equal to D for this pair, okay. So for the second pair, we have the opposite, okay. So F equal to D bar. So here we have. Irrespective of the input, f is output f is equal to one. So here we have f equal to d bar or d complement. Here f is equal to one. Here also f is equal to one. Here f is equal to d, and here f is equal to one. Suppose if we represent these numbers in terms of port, this is zero, one, two. Three, four, five, six, and seventh port of a multiplexer. Okay, so whatever we have here, we will connect to that port. Okay, of the multiplexer. So let us draw the multiplexer here. So eight into one multiplexer. So we'll have three select lines and eight input lines. So eight into one multiplexer. So here we'll have three select lines. S zero, S one, S two. Here we'll connect A, B, and C, and D will connect here to these ports. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we'll look at F equal to D. So F equal to D four zero. Then we have. Six zero and six. Okay, so D you connect directly to zero, and then six. Then we will look at F equal to D bar. F equal to D bar is for one three. Okay, one and three. So take a complement that is inverter here. Here we'll get D bar. Okay, so F equal to D bar for one and three. Okay, so connect to one. And three. Then we can see that f equal to one four, two four five and seven. Two four five and seven. So take a line from one that is f the five. Two four five and seven. Okay. So seven you connect here. Five you connect here. Four you connect here and two. Okay. So this is the circuit diagram. Here we have output function y or f here. And so this is the circuit diagram of the given function using a 8 into 1 multiplexer. Thank you for watching. If you have any question, please put it in the comment section below. Also like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.